No, we have a lot of a uh, lot of injuries. Uh, like you said, there we have uh, Tierney as well and Hector as well, and and then Mesut has something on his foot. But uh, we had things happening there, so Mesut wouldn't have been in the in the squad today anyway. What happened in the last game? So for me, what I've seen of uh, Everton, they are um, how do you say a little bit old style when they play against when when I was playing, they played very direct, uh, a lot of long balls, a lot of fighting, and uh, so I wanted to put a team out there that would work hard and, and try to win those second ball was needed. It's a very unusual scenario today. What does it make you feel like you've got the two incoming managers sitting in the front row of the director's box? That's the way it is. That's the football is. And I said, uh, I love this club. I try to help them as much as I possibly can. And uh, that's how it is. And there's nothing I can change. Best of luck today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It'd be nice for him to finish on a high, wouldn't it? It's been really difficult for him. I mean, he hasn't really had a backroom staff. It's just been him and Per Mertesacker. The big headline today is this Mesut Ozil story. Carrying a foot injury. Yet another sort of strange injury picked up and another game missed. I'm not convinced, um, to be honest. And what, what we'll say, Freddie Lumbo, I thought, was managed with a great deal of dignity, a great deal of calm in, in very difficult circumstances as well. And Ozil is one of those issues, one of those problems. And that's how Teta's got to manage that. Um, he went off the pitch, didn't he, against City. He wasn't best pleased. He didn't look particularly injured on that occasion. He probably just took himself out of it because he thinks that Freddie wouldn't play him. And Smith Rowe comes in today. I like the fact that he wants to go with youth. From Freddie's point of view, in all the games he's managed, they've done exceptionally well in the second half, which is probably normal, but I'd like to see him have been a more of a proactive manager and seen the difficulties before they actually happened. 3-0 down against City last week, they're much better in the second half. Today now, I think he's going to put the hard workers in, the grafters, the people he feels he can rely upon. Um, Nelson's back in. and Martinelli, I think, has been quite a revelation. And I think that Freddie is the one that's given him his head. He has set the example of the work rate yeah. and desire that Arsenal are looking for in their team is the youngest player in the team. Now, that cannot be right, because some of these senior players now also... I think there's a feeling that the Bamiyams are looking around thinking, you know, is this the, but they don't want the right the project, club? project, though, do they? They're, they're at an age where they want to be winning things this season. A, three, a manager talking about a three- or four-year project isn't going to excite... No, but the, but the, the new manager has to make them feel a part of Arsenal and make them feel that there's a belief and there's a reason to being here. Mm. This fella is a, a multiple goal scorer. He's top player. Lacazette sitting on the bench will probably be wondering, why haven't I been used? But So they're the choices of Freddie Lumber. But over time, these players are going to have to come to the fore because it will be the experienced players yeah. that get Arsenal out of trouble. Today, though, it's going to be the kids.